Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle R Christian 2 featuring the Mark IV Gundam, a creation of the SD Gundam series. This unit is effectively one developed by the Titans based off the Mark III, I believe, Gundam. And uh, eh, it's an interesting unit that led to the Mark V, or the Mark V if you prefer. In game, it is a 600 cost and I believe 650 cost ground and space capable general with a ballistic resistance of 16, a beam resistance of 28, a melee resistance of 22, a range strength of 25, a melee strength of 35, a movement speed of 135, and a thrust gauge of 65. For parts, we have close range of 15, medium of 23, and long range of 6. This is kind of a melee unit, but it can kind of do mid the mid-range game. It has the Mark IV beam rifle, very similar to the Mark V. It staggers, it's, beam, it's a beam weapon, and it's ammo based. We got your standard nerf stick, of course. Then we have the Incom beam cannon which can be nice to throw some damage in. It locks on fairly quick, does decent damage, but you know, you're gonna wanna use it as more of a harassment tool or to add damage onto someone getting dogpiled. Then we have the beam cannon, which is mounted over the shoulder. It's chargeable, it does pretty decent damage, and it will stagger as well. Then we have a special thing on it called the head special sensor unit which, of course, briefly disrupts radar and blocks allied info sharing. So this can be a bit of a thing to annoy people like supports. And for the last bit of equipment, I believe we have a large shield. So that's fantastic as I bust in and out of the uh, selection string. For skills, we have Lake Shock Reserver Level 3. Anti-Blast Stabilizer, Emergency Evasion System, Flight Control Program Level 2, Power Accelerator Level 2, Shield Tackle, High Performance Balancers, High Spec AMBAC Melee Combo Controller, Forced Injector Level 2, nice, Observational Data Link, Special Leg Buffer Level 2, Marker, Stealth, Fake Beacon. Now, Stealth and Fake Beacon are tied to the Special inf Infiltration Device. So, briefly at the beginning of a match, this uh, skill isn't on, but you can f hit the touch button if you're playing PlayStation. I don't know what it is for PC, or it's, it, whatever button it's connected to. You press it, and it changes between Fake Beacon or Stealth. So, this unit can be a bit of a... Um, interesting one for causing pure and utter chaos my opinion of it is pretty simple if you like the mark 4 gundam you're probably someone who enjoyed the mark 5 which i personally like that raid i think it's one of the more entertaining raids and you do like a little bit of flexibility this unit does have that it can operate pretty well um you can get caught out in it but it's pretty decent it's pretty simple it's pretty effective and that one uh, special ability adds a little bit of flavor onto something that would be well otherwise just obscenely general so let's see how it does in the match to come welcome to the match everybody hope you're having a fantastic time and uh I'll admit, I, uh, I like the shit, though I like the Mark V Gundam, and, uh, no, yeah, it plays in a similar fashion to the Mark V with the, uh, ability to switch between, uh, Fake Beacon and Stealth, which is kind of nice. I got a little bit more used to it in this match, so we're going to start off, and I'm going to push off to the side, because I want to activate my Fake Beacon. And I don't want to be right up with all my guys. Um, so I'm going to hang back for just a sec. I see a guy over there in a throat stirt. And uh, I'm going to hang back for just a second as my dudes move in. I probably... Oh yeah, I activated my stealth. So we're going to come in, drop our income, and do a little bit of damage as that guy backs off. I'm going to try to come in and sneak a shot at him, but... 
He's gonna fall back. We'll take a blind shot into the water, catch him there, and then we're going to uh, charge up our, sh our beam cannon. And we're gonna miss with both shots. But for the moment, we're kind of, uh, well, holding a position, uh, distracting some of them from really doing much. We're gonna hit him, then get him with the 1-2, uh, but he's gonna roll out of it somehow. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh well, I got the damage in, that's all that matters. We're gonna chase him a bit, take our shot, put a couple more rounds into him. He's gonna roll off the into the water. And we're gonna back off a little bit. I should have switched over to uh, stealth, but you know, in the heat of the moment. So we're gonna basically keep these two kind of focused on us, and uh, we're gonna just kind of mess around with them. That was a bit of a delayed shot. I keep trying to go after this guy. We're gonna come in, smack him, catch him with the downswing, finally. And we're gonna finish him off real quick. So we've done that. The other guy has uh, kind of forgotten us. Is a uh, well, the ball nuck is trying to uh, violently assail him. I'm gonna come in, get smacked. He's gonna get taken out. We're gonna catch him with that down or that swing. This has a really wide swing. We're gonna almost finish him off before uh, the Ritter gets us, and they're gonna get us to a degree, but we're going to uh, immediately go after the Kai, get him with the side swing, back up, come in, smack him with both of those, but we're going to get caught and uh, we're going to have to deal with the other threat than uh, taking this guy out, get knocked by our own guy a little, a little bit, wait for it, wait for it, fire, we got him, oh, and then we got that, oh well, that's two guys that we have taken out and helped tie up. So, not bad for a first life. So, we're gonna spawn here at base because nobody captured any of the bases. And, uh, we're gonna go over to uh, our fake beacon and start moving up. And we're gonna try to get back into the thick of it because some of our guys are a little bit worse for wear. And we kind of want to get into a position to do something. So we see our friend over there on the opposite building. And we want to give him a high five. So there's two high fives. And we missed on the third. I'm sure he'll let us know how disappointed he is. So I'm trying to skirt around and get behind them. But I'm going to come over this way. I probably should have grabbed A, but eh. You know what you can think some days. So we're gonna move over here. We're gonna try to uh, get to someone, but their entire team is in one location and they see a guy with their uh, their thing on. So we're just gonna back off. You know, they don't have six people. They probably can count, you know. <laughs> Switch over to our stealth, come over here and just hide for a second. We're watching this guy. But he's holding that corner. We're going to come around, catch... Uh, oh, I forget which Zeta this is. It's the one Zeta. You know, the Zeta. We're going to get punished a little bit. But we're going to get up. And uh, unfortunately for him, he's uh, wasted all of his uh, fuel or his uh, gauge. And we're going to take him out. Now, we're going to push around. And we're going to get taken out. Oh, they somehow countered that. Sure, whatever. But we should have opened it for our, uh, our guys to do some nasty stuff. So, not bad for a second line. So, we're going to spawn at the home base again. <laughs> and this time, we're going to definitely do the etiquette thing and capture A. Because that's what a good guy does. Turn on good boy mode. Alright, now we're going to drop down and capture that. I love that I can't see much data on the team at the moment, but hey, that's live. We're going to drop back into the suit, and, well, we've got our fake beacon on. So, again, I'm trying to be all sneaky style, so I'm going to come up behind this guy, and we got the bat out. So we're going to catch him there, hit him with that, and we're going to overshoot, unfortunately. Oh! And he no-sold that uh, down strike? Okay, sure. 
That's exactly how down strikes work. <laughs> and we're coming. We're gonna help uh, do as much damage as we can. We're gonna use that guy to shield us from the uh, the nasty Zeta. And we're gonna get down struck. Ah, oh, lovely. And we're kind of getting surrounded. I don't think my uh, team respects my capability. <laughs> They're going to come up, and we're going to go in, we're going to get them with that strike, take the one guy out, drop, scoot back forward, and we're going to go after the Stritter again, but get shot in the back, because three on one is never good. That's no good. So, we're going to keep trying to backpedal, but unfortunately, when you're in a sandwich, we're going to hit the Zeta again. And we're going to use our reach to knock him down. Uh, I'm not in a good position, so I'm going to come around and I'm going to back off a little bit. Hoping to uh, get another shot. But we're going to miss. We're going to make a charge. And it's going to cost us. So we're on our third life in the last 30 seconds. Alright, we're going to spawn at D. Standing for the end of the match. And there we go. Time out. Let's see how we did on this very close match. Standing there, staring at nothing menacingly. There's our pose of victory. Two spots and first place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.